Hey guys, um, Panda here. I got a new computer and I'm kind of excited about it. I've got some of the pieces right here. I want to do a little unboxing of it. Maybe go through some of what I ordered. Uh, the rest of the parts will be here maybe Friday. <laughs> uh, the video card got sent to Florida instead of my house. I don't live in Florida or near Florida. So um, Amazon, it, we're waiting on an email back from Amazon, which um, as of today, Monday at almost 3 o'clock, I don't have an email back. And I just found out this morning that they screwed up. Contacted them, whatever. That's not the point of the video. Let's get to the, the unboxing. I ordered parts. I used um, PCPartPicker.com to make sure that the parts were compatible with each other. Um, and then from there I went and did my own research, whatever. I didn't buy the top, top of the line, but I bought pretty, pretty good stuff, I think. All right, let's get into the boring stuff first. Boring as in, I don't have the video card here. What I have here are, is the power supply, the CPU cooler, the optical drive, so exciting, and the case. The case is something I'm really excited about. All right, uh, what I've got here, let's see if I can do this. Supernova 850G2, box is hefty. It is an 850 watt gold power supply. It's an 850 watt power supply. You can kind of figure that by <coughs> the model number, 850. So, let's see what we got in here. Get this little nifty case I'm sure there's a reason this is in here I just don't know it power cord always important to have during when you have a power supply you have more cords here mounting screws very important Ooh, the adapter the pin adapter and you have all the various power cords that come out of the power supply to power the components on your motherboard and then after the motherboard of course the different components cpu fans uh, uh, where did i just put that one look at all these look at them you got all the nine pin four pin beautiful all right it's always good to have more cords than you need because it's better to have more than less. So props to them. Oh yeah, baby. You are a beautiful piece of hardware. Got a book for some light reading. Only uh, 30, 40 some pages, 40 some pages. I'm guessing that bag is to hold extra cords. Now this is what I'm really excited about. So this is the power supply. You guys can see the uh, business end of the power cord goes into here. The other end of that cord goes on the wall. Got a little switch, whatever. But check this, most power supplies, at least what we're used to, have cords hardwired in and they're just running into it. When something happens to one of those cords, you don't wrap it right, whatever, you're screwed, you gotta get a new power supply. This one, the cords plug in on the back individually so I don't I only plug in what I need I don't know if you can see it let me turn it the right way here the light my lighting sucks by the way I apologize yeah here we go so you got CPU uh, let's see if I can put that up each one is labeled individually for what it powers which is handy Obviously, you're going to have to use the motherboard, but you have VGA, CPU1. This is badass. You have different SATA plugins. Mm. CPU2. I love that. It means it'll help cut down on the number of cables coming out of my power supply. That is helpful. Okay. This pretty box here. Plus, and maybe this is just because I'm an old guy, but I love to keep these boxes. Because it seems like when it comes time for birthdays or Christmas, I never have enough freaking boxes. So, you know, money well spent, I guess. I recycle and reuse. Plus, you know, someone, I'm going to give this to one of my nephews probably, or give a Christmas present to one of my nephews in this box 
they're going to think I bought them a power supply. Depending on which nephew it is, they'll be really disappointed or really excited. Okay, moving on. CPU fan. Now, I could have gone water-cooled or liquid-cooled. I chose not to because I don't want to deal with the headache. So here's all the mounting and accessories. This is the NHD15. I'm pretty sure that my CPU, which is an i5-8500, I think it comes with a cooler. But I wanted to get a non-stock one just in case because I read some reviews that some of those stock coolers don't work as well. Here's my baby. Part of my baby. I don't want to bend any of these fins. Be careful. There we go. No damage. No damage. Bam. Look at that. Don't want to touch it on the side too much. That is beefy. And I can take this out here. Oh, yeah. I'm going to put this back in. I want you to just look at that. Just look at it. It'll be sitting right down on here. Put this back in. I, don't, I really don't want to handle it by touching any of these fins. I'm trying to be careful. I don't want to bend these and lower the efficiency of it, but that really is handy. Get a little cord here. So beautiful. God, I love it. Oh, and of course, you can't forget. Let me this in here, put you back in there, very careful, actually, I'm going to set you out here for now, look at the size of these fans, 1500 RPM, 12 volt, 1.56 watts, Man, and it feels sturdy. You know, sometimes those fans they feel like they're made with really cheap plastic, and you're like, I hope this doesn't break. That's sturdy. I like it. Okay, now well, let's. Uh... This is not exciting at all. I got a two terabyte hard drive. Went with a Seagate. Thought about going Western Digital, but honestly, I just need cheap storage. And Seagate works just fine. It's a 7200 RPM, uh, two terabyte spinning disk drive. It'd be good for storing things on it. I'll still install all my main applications and games on a solid state. But. Okay. And my optical drive. I just needed one. I didn't even research them. Honestly, I found the cheapest one possible because I rarely use it, but when I do need to use it, I want one that works. The one I have right now sounds like a, a jet engine taking off. So, got that. Now, this is what I'm excited for. This, this is going to be great. Let's get this out of here. Luckily, we have a carrying bag for storage, which makes sense. go because we've all been in that place where we're going to the airport and we don't have a good bag to put all our cables in I've got all my my, PA, my power supply cables in one place okay and mounting screws do not forget those put those in the bag I don't know about you but I always lose screws and you just go with Jesus okay this is my D&D mat. Well, not my D&D mat, but it's at my house, so it counts as mine. Okay. Get the keys out. So, I've never bought a case before. Never. 
uh, the case I used was donated to me from a friend who used it at land parties in like 2000. <gasps> Piece of styrofoam. All right, I'm gonna have to sit you down. Oh, this is a beast. I'm gonna have to find a new house for this, I think. Come on. Get these out of this. Oh, oh. oh, they're open on one end, so they slide out. No, they're not. I broke it. That's fine. I broke it. That'll leave a mess, but I don't care. I do not care one bit. And now I've got a giant box for the kid to play in. Win-win. Look at this beast. Oh, I just want to touch it and I'm going to get to. That was my phone. So what was the name of this case? I can't even remember. The Entho Zero Zero or something like that. Uh, Enthu Pro Series. Uh, let's be honest. At this point, for a case, I was looking for two things. Two things out of a case. I wanted one that was cheap, and one with lots of fans. So. The problem I've run into in mine is it's got a plex this case right here has the same thing. It's got this plexiglass side, which is cool, I guess, if you want to look in. I'm not going to have a whole lot of bells and whistles that I need to look at. Ugh. The fan on my case right now is shorting out on the back, but even when it wasn't shorting out, it um, it can't keep up. Even with my GPU, my CPU cooler, it was having a hard time keeping up. I have a lot of stuff going on in a, in a small enclosed space. The more cooling you can get, the better. And it has a big old fan right here on front. Oh, you can see that. So, one on front, one on back. Combine that with the, the uh, lar possibly larger than normal <laughs> CPU fan that I, I purchased. I'm hoping that keeps everything cool there. And of course, the GPU has its own coolant, his own fans too. Don't lose any of these case screws because I only have about 2,000 of them. And let's see how easily do you come off. Oh, there. So easy, I couldn't figure it out. I want to open the back side of this. So here's another thing that I think is really nifty. Look at all those bays. We'll put all those drives in there. I'll we'll have two solid states, my storage, and then a backup spinning disk. We have cabling back here. I like the cable, the cable management on this, honestly. That's what really sold me on it. Uh, my current case doesn't have good cable management. So, there we go. And I have an accessory box. What do you think's in here? This is what you get when you don't read the full description on what you buy. Come here, baby. This might not be the most exciting unboxing for you, but for me, this is legit Christmas in September. So this is a Fantex ENTH00 Pro. Oh, look! Now this is nifty. Now zip ties and Velcro, that's cool. But they give you all of these screws put things together. Now this may be standard in cases. A buddy of mine just bought a case and he didn't have that with his, but I don't remember what kind of was. That is nifty. And a bracket. I'm assuming that this bracket goes on something to plug it up. I don't know. Oh, look at that. That is really cool. I feel like that was made with me in mind because now I don't have to bring out 15 cups worth of uh, random screws. I have them all here. Very nifty. 
And then on the other side, I've got the plexiglass. And all my cables will run off of the side right here and run into the different components. Easy, speed, easy, squeezy, whatever. Oh, it even smells so good. It's got that new car smell. Well, let's get these little wires out of there. I don't think I'm going to use these for anything, but I like to keep them because I feel like I'm always needing something. I'm a hoarder. Anyways, thanks for watching. A little unboxing. As I get more parts, I'll unbox them. Until then, uh, take care and click subscribe and like all that crap, and I'll be doing other videos with the build and everything. Bye-bye.